All right, so I want to take some time here to show off a uh, just some video of my Evo running the new 2.2 update for the HTC Evo. Uh, my phone is actually rooted, and I'm running a custom um, software here, a custom ROM. I'm sorry here from Fresh, the Evo Fresh ROM. Uh, it's a ROM I loved on my Hero and and, and love on my Evo as well. He released the 2.2 update early for all donors, so just a chance to kind of show you all some of the features and functionality on here that you can expect in the update tomorrow. Um, his and actually his ROM is available for rooted uh, for rooted evos on their website, which is http colon slash slash geek four dot me, and I'll make sure to include that in the descriptions below. Uh, so again, not too much to actually show here on the actual Evo because it's not too there aren't too many uh, actual changes as far as you know how it looks. It's more so on how it works. So the first thing I noticed is just the snappiness and how much faster the OS is. I mean, you see here just from me clicking on icons and in between different screens, it, it definitely loads those things up much much faster than it did before the update. Uh, another nice thing they changed is just the the way that your recent apps look. So now instead of getting that small rectangle, you're going to get this nice faded uh, kind of animation here, and it brings up your uh, recent apps. Uh, the other other changes are obviously going to be to the browser. The browser speed has increased significantly. Uh, you'll notice here I'm using a Dolphin browser and not the actual standard browser, but it did get those same flash uh, support. Little, a little different on the Dolphin browser than the real one. Uh, sometimes it doesn't automatically load up Flash content. There'll be a little box with an arrow, but once you hit that, it seems to be fine. Um, so yeah, again, letting you play Flash games, uh, view other Flash content right from your phone. You see there it said tap to get full screen. Um, but yeah, basically giving you access to this full Flash content right on your phone. Um, whether you play games, music, you know, I'm, I'm sure there's a lot of different things you can do. Um, but I'm sure one of the things most people will be very interested in is the free gaming right on your, right on your phone. So there you go. I hit the uh, screen. It brought up the full screen, and then your controls directly interact with the the game, which I have no idea how to play this game. But as you see there, apparently this cat toss game. Oops. So, you know, you pick and choose your favorite Flash games, uh, but this is just showing that you can run those on there. You hit the back arrow, and it'll take you back to the, uh, you know, out of the full screen. And I can tap it once again to go back in the full screen. So really giving you, opening up a, a door for a lot of different things with uh, Flash support on your phone. And again, the browser in general itself is much faster, in my opinion, than it was uh, before the update. One of the other things I noticed that I really like, and this is something simple, but something I'm very appreciative of, uh, not only does 2.2 give the ability to back up uh, certain apps to your SD card or install them to your SD card. So a lot of phones, uh, particularly phones uh, with less internal memory, you might want to store some of your apps or large apps like Google Earth to your SD card, and so it'll let you do that. Another thing I really like about the new market is the ability to update all. So you see here I have four different apps that need to be updated. Now instead of having to go in and update each one individually, I can just hit the update all button and it will go ahead and do that for me. That's something that's very appreciated, at least for me, because it's kind of annoying when you have multiple apps you have to update and to keep doing them one at a time. What else here? Well, HTC has included a few things in here. One is this app share app. <laughs> so it will let you actually share any unprotected applications on your phone. So that's pretty cool. Uh, as that loads up basically what it is is it takes the unprotected apps on my phone and lets you just select one and then it'll ask you how do you want to share that application so you can share it you know on Twitter you can share it Gmail Handsent you know however you want to send that message uh, you can share that message or that excuse me that application you can share that application with other people another nice thing is the uh, flashlight app so they went ahead and included their own LED flashlight app so it's actually using the LED here uh, as a flashlight you can get different intensities on the light so the, every time you touch it it gets brighter and brighter it'll cycle through until you know it's brightest and they put this nice little picture on the front of your camera so nothing nothing spectacular nothing that you couldn't get in the app before but just HTC's own integrated attempt uh, it actually has a couple other little settings like uh, SOS where it'll automatically flash SOS code there for you and some things like that so nothing nothing again nothing you know 
crazy, nothing shockingly new, but just a nice little added app. Uh, the camera, they did add four-way rotation in the camera. And I'm gonna say I'm pretty impressed. I mean, it's really smooth to the extent that I didn't even notice it. So if you saw there, my little icons oriented themselves to the way that I'm holding the camera. And so if I were to turn it this way, they rotate the icons, and it does that in all four directions. So I'm really impressed at how smooth that turns. That's something I think you'd see characteristic of like an iPhone when people like to compare things like that. One of the things I noticed is that uh, our phone in the past had been a little slower to to rotate or orient itself. Uh, but you see there that it rotates fairly quickly so that's nice to see I'd like to see something like that integrated into other applications on the phone in the future but uh, who knows you know keep our fingers crossed on that um, beyond that again the biggest improvements you're gonna see here are gonna be with the just overall snappiness and speed of the phone it is really fast now in comparison to before the update and then again also the speed of the browser and flash support I would have to say those are, those are the two biggest things I think that I know I was waiting for and I think probably the two biggest things that uh, that most of you guys were out there waiting for so there you have it there's just a quick little overview of uh, Android 2.2 and let me show you the I guess just verification that it is actually running and again you see how snappy this thing is moving through the OS you see their Android version 2.2 so the thing to realize, I think a lot of people had questions about how 2.2 is going to look on the Evo. Um, the 2.2 that a lot of you have seen on the uh, the Nexus One, the vanilla 2.2, it's not exactly what you're going to get here. You are going to get HTC skinned uh, version of 2.2, so with the HTC Sense on top of it. So you do still have the HTC um, lock screen, the traditional lock screen, and the traditional look to it here. Um, and that bar at the bottom there, you'll notice mine is slightly different. That's not a part of the upgrade. That is actually a part of my custom ROM. So you're going to have the traditional um, launcher bar there at the bottom and everything. Uh, so it is keeping the HTC Evo and HTC look, but giving you a lot of those 2.2 functions. One last part of the 2.2 that I almost forgot to show because I don't really use it is the standard messaging app. Um, that has been tweaked or upgraded and I guess the thing that you will notice is that the uh, the uh, comp composition area here is a bit larger and then it gives you the send button right there and then also you can hit that little attachment thing and it will pop out you know the different attachment options um, and then you can just hit it again to close it that was the only difference I really noticed to be honest with you there could be a few other tweaks in there but uh, again I don't really ever use the uh, default messaging app as you see here I have Hansen loaded and I pretty much primarily use Hansen but uh, that did look like a nice little added uh, feature a nice look like it cleaned the OS up a little bit there so again just some really nice things at 2.2 uh, I did not cover every single thing on 2.2 the 2.2 uh, update there are some I believe some new widgets that uh, HTC has included but you know I just did want to give you a general idea of, of what it was uh, offering and hopefully you guys will get those updates tomorrow and be able to check this stuff out for yourself. All right.